the Disc Golf World Tour event, the Canapiste Open 2016. Here's our league card. Sun Lazat, Yale Store, KJ Naibo, and Nate Sexton. Diamond, Hole number one, a par three. 122 meters downhill, 400 feet. Simon up first. A little short hyzer, pushing the tree's edge. Actually, way wide, right? Oh my gosh. Carries through the trees, gets inside the circle for a birdie putt. Yale Store from Finland. Backhand as well. Pushing that right edge. And just seemed to sail on him. Stayed right, hit the tree limbs, fell down right in the fairway's edge. KJ Naimo from Denmark. Also going hyzer, backhand, mid-range, rock. Left a little high. Getting a little fast, Game going at the basket. Popped out the back, back edge, out of bounds. Going to the drop zone. Nate Sexton from the USA. Opting for the forehand shot. Just trying to play safe. Played in the middle. Landed in the middle of the fairway. KJ with his drop zone shot. Skips up there about 10 feet short. That'll be easy bogey putt. Nate Sexton for his birdie putt. Wide left. Yeah. Oh, store miss. Birdie, Sam Lazat takes advantage of that tee shot. Got in the circle, made the birdie putt. Hole number two, par four, 169 meters, 554 feet uphill. Simon's trying to carry the shot up the hill and finish to the left, trying to get that sweet spot, trying to get a look at the basket from there. Yali Store, a little early, inside left, didn't quite make the corner. Nate Sexton, going way early, taking it tight, Catches that corner tree, drops right on the edge of the fairway. It's going to be a tough shot from there. KJ Naibo, big towering. Heiser shot, getting around both corners, trying to carry left, trying to get a look. Nate Sexton, second shot, trying to get the forehand around the corner. Yale Store opting for the left-handed backhand roller just to get out of position here. KJ, backhand. Turnover, rock, puts it right in the circle. This should be easy birdie putt. Simon, aggravated, threw it short, hit the bush, circle's edge. Should be a good putt from the knee from there. Yale Store, forehand roller. Goes backhand roller, forehand roller, circle's edge. Nate Sexton, trying to get that birdie. Should be a tap in, easy par. Sam Zot from a knee hits a huge 10 meter putt, 33 feet for birdie. Yale Store for par. And KJ for an easy tap in birdie. Moving on to hole three. By far the hardest par five on this course. Measuring at 319 meters. 1,046 feet. Simon going for the big roller. Trying to get it up. Trying to get it over. Couldn't quite stand it up and it carries long. Just past those guardian trees. Out of position. Gonna be tough to get around that corner on the second shot. KJ also going roller. Trying to get way down there and trying to get around the corner to the right, setting up the second shot. Trying to stand it up, and a late... Nope, I finished back left behind the guardian trees. Yale Store, going roller as well. Trying to learn from the previous two shots. Trying to get it up. Doesn't get it up. Finishing, hyzering out, rolling down left side. All four players going roller. Hopefully Nate can learn from their mistakes. Get this disc up and over, get it to the right side, line up that second shot. Here's Yaller's door. Just trying to position himself, trying to get back into the fairway. 
Get him an easy look at a birdie from there. Nate Sexton, better positioned. Trying to throw that straight shot, trying to get through that gap. And Heiser left right underneath the boughs of that tree. KJ, left side of the fairway, playing back out to the right. And that got around the corner. That should be an easier look for the birdie. Simon out of position, just playing out to the fairway, trying to get a look. Great flex forehand. Sit down. Absolutely, he can work from there. The Allies store, trying to get up and down for birdie. Gets it out there, skips up there. That's in the circle. That should be any routine putt for him. Same thing, Simon Lazat. Mid range, getting a little air bounce. Getting a little gusty, getting a little breezy. Finishing left side, that should be no problem for him. Nate Sexton, just there with that, sh that second shot landing over there. Underneath that tree, sets up that third shot forehand just to get out of the woods. And KJ, skip it up there. Nate, that's going to be just to get your par and move on. And Simon Lazat with a rare miss. Chain out right side, first miss putt of the weekend. Galley store, putting woes, leaves it low. Nate Sexton in. KJ in for birdie. Well played. As we're moving on to hole four, 109 meters, 358 feet, slightly uphill through a gap. I would consider this the one wooded hole on the course. KJ leaving it long, right, just past pin high, skips out long. Sun Lazat using the big arm, trying to go big, hyzer out and around, saws it off inside, that'll be short, looking at for a putt. Yale Store. Trying to thread the gap, leaving it right side, swinging back left, nearly an ace. That's long out the back of the circle. Nate Sexton also trying to follow Simon's line. Sawed off Heiser, short left, jump putt, easy tap in par. Simon low, KJ left. Yale store for birdie. Leaves it right side. All players miss on their birdie attempts. Easy tap in pars. No movement on this hole. As we move on to hole five. Five's a big turnover distance shots off the tee. Measuring out at 219 meters, 718 feet. KJ, big turnover, flex, trying to get way down that fairway. Seem to flex a little early. We'll see where that ends up. Simon absolutely loves this hole. Big turnover, big flex, trying to get out the gap, put himself in position. Y'all last door, going inside. Inside fairway, big turnover, doesn't quite get the flex, ends up high on the hill. Nate Sexton as well, opting for the backhand. Being a predominantly forehand favored thrower, takes the inside gap on the flex, lands up high on the hill where Yali landed. Simon Lazat, out of position, big hyzer, catches a late tree. It'll be about 45 from there. KJ, wide hyzer as well, leaves it high on the hill, doesn't get the carry, stays up on the hill. Be a tough putt from there. Sexton, there's the forehand. Excalibur skips it up there by the pin. No problem. Whoa, whoa, wait. It got up, wobbled, and rolled down the hill. From where he was standing, he thought he had it parked. Now it's down the hill looking at about a 45-footer. Yale Store, wide right, playing around the trees, skipping it up to the basket. Easy tap in birdie. Sam Lazat from a knee, outside the circle, high left, frustrated. KJ, low and left, still close to the basket. And from what Sexton saw, he thought he had it parked on the second shot for a tap-in birdie. The wobble, the roll down the hill, the 45-footer up, he'll take a par as well. 
Yale store with the lone birdie on hole number five. As moving to hole number six, 115 meters, 377 feet, slightly downhill, one guardian tree designating either a backhand or a forehand shot. Yale store played it perfectly, skipped it up there about 12 feet short. KJ going mid range, going right side, skips early left just outside the circle's edge. Sam Lazat, backhand as well, trying to flex in a, a mid range, go MD3. Circle's edge, short left side. And here's Sexton, going forehand. He loves his shot, get around that tree, skip, skizzle. Get that roll to the basket. That should be his top end birdie. And a monstrous putt. Huge jump putt outside the circle for KJ for birdie. And there, oh, right side splash off for Simon. Dead center for Yali for the birdie. Easy tap in for Sexton. Three birdies. One lone par by Simon Lazat. Hole number seven. 93 meters, 305 feet uphill. A lot of players throw the fairway driver, just trying to lace it, trying to get the distance, trying to get the height, skip it up there, get inside the circle, trying to get a look at a birdie. KJ, same thing, early left. Just by throwing that uphill shot, it's really hard to get that carry unless you give it enough height. And there's the lace line, Sexton going low. Going burner, trying to lace it up there. That would be a nice putt for him. And Simon, showing him how it's done. Uphill shot, leaving it high enough just inside that tree. He thought he had an ace. Out of his hand, he thought it was going in. Hits the tree, skips up there. Should be an easy birdie. Birdie by Sexton, birdie by KJ, and birdie by Yale. Tap and birdie for Simon. All-star. 30s all around on hole seven. Hole number eight, 90 meters. By far the shortest hole in the course, 295 feet. Got OB to the right, and he almost found it. Short little hole, it's either a turnover or a short little sidearm. KJ going backhand turnover as well. That rock just stables out, and then it flexes it back into the circle. And perfection. That's how the sidearm is thrown. Out and around the pine tree. Roll up to the pin. And tap it in. Simon going sidearm as well. Saws it off. He's running. I don't know why he's in a rush right now. Seems really impatient. Even rushes his putt. Leaves it high. Takes a tumble on the ground. And KJ. Little rim roller. Little spin here and out. We got Nate Sexton with the lone birdie here on hole eight. Hole number nine, the signature hole in this course, the longest par four, 288 meters, 944 feet, sloping downhill, carrying left, just a gorgeous hole. Sexton just putting it out there, a little wide to the right, but does get back to the fairway. Yale a little tighter, trying to get around that corner, trying to carry the distance. You can really unload on this hole. I've seen Simon, I've seen Macbeth really get down really far in this fairway, trying to leave an easier second shot approach to the green. Here's KJ, a little wide, a little right, gets caught up in those trees, be a tough look from there. Here's Simon, laces it, threads it, Flip up Heiser, getting the distance, getting the carry, skipping down the hill. That center cut, middle of the fairway. Here's KJ from the edge. Kind of out of position, trying to get down there through the gap, trying to get a look at Birdie. Stays wide right, gets caught up in the trees. Nice door. Good position here. Put the shot in the gap. Too much Heiser saws it off. 
Short left side. That'll be a putt from there. And Sexton. Trying to lace it down there. Everybody has a tendency to turn it into those trees if you don't get enough hyzer on it. Stay out there. Same thing. Everybody finishing left side. Really not trusting their disc to get through the gap. Sexton, easy layup. That should be a tap in for par. Same from KJ. Easy tap in for par. Easy four for him. Simon, outside the circle. Top of the flag stick. And Yale Store outside the circle. Big putt. Lone birdie on this hole as we finish off the front nine.